Okay, this is how we're going to end the year of 2017. Let's go and solve this equation. x to the x to the x to the 2017th power, and that's equal to 2017. And when we have this notation right here, it means that we have to actually work this out first. Namely, x to the 2017th power, right? And then use that as the result for this exponent here, so that we have to do this part next. At the very end, we will have to do x to that exponent, and hopefully the result equals to 2017. As always, please pause the video and try this first. Okay, before I show you guys how to solve this equation, let me tell you guys that I got the idea of this kind of equations from one of the coven questions, and that's a set of really hard questions. And it has a really interesting story behind it, and the questions are really, really challenging. You guys can you know, see the questions or read the story. I will have the link in the description for you guys. And I just modified it, one of the equations, right? And this is the one that we are going to solve right here. Anyway, hmm, how can we start with this though? We have x to the x to the x to the 27th power. Can we just take the ln on both sides? Okay, let's try. When I do that, I will have ln of x to the x to the x to the 27th power, and that's equal to ln of 2017, right? And as I mentioned earlier, this part, just like that, it's the exponent for this x. So by one of the ln property, yes, I can bring that to the front. But I don't think that's going to be any helpful because we will have x to the x to the 27th power times ln x, and that's equal to the number ln of 2017. I have no idea how to approach from there to isolate that x. You can try if you may, but I will leave that to you guys. Hmm, what can we do now? Why don't we try to use the general problem-solving strategy? Namely, whenever we're dealing with something new or something that's difficult, try to think about something that's old, something that we've seen before, something that's actually easier, right? And hopefully there's any kind of connections. So, the reason that this is problematic because we have x to the x to the x, namely three x's for the base, like that, right? And then raised to the 27th power, right here. An easier situation for this is, of course, what if we just have x, just one of them, right? And then raised to the 27th power. So let's do that on the side right here. I will just write this down. This is the easier version of that equation. It's just x to the 27th power equal to 2017. And how can we solve this now? In fact, we don't even need to use ln because x is the base and the power is just 2017. So we can just go ahead, raise both sides to the 1 over 2017 power because this way, this and that will cancel each other out and we'll get the x by itself. So we will have x equals to 2017 raised to the 1 over 2017 power, like that, right? And if you prefer, you can write this in the radical form because, because we have the fraction no exponent. So this 2017 in the denominator, it's going to be the index. So that's the 2017th root of this base, which is 2017th to the first power, right? So yes, this is a solution for that. So much, so much, so much easier than that, right? Hmm. Now, let's try if we have two x's, right? So this is the second easiest version. Let's solve x to the x to the 27th power, and I still want this to be 2017, okay? Hmm. Well, if you look at this now, if you pay attention to this power, once again, when you have x to the x to the 2017, you really have to work this out first. And the idea here is that, wouldn't it be nice if this happens to be equal to 2017? Why? Because if this is 2017, then you're talking about x to this red 2017, right? That's equal to 2017. That's exactly what we just did. So in fact, let me just tell you guys that I'm going to claim x equals to this. And I'm just going to use the power notation, okay? 2017 to the 1 over 2017 is a solution, right? And in fact, 
That's the only solution for this equation. But let me just say, this number works. So let me just convince you guys by doing the check for you guys. So I'm just going to plug in this into this x and that x and write this out carefully, OK? So I will write down this right here, 2017 raised to the 1 over 2017 like this. That's this x. And then I will open a bigger parenthesis right here. And I will have to enter this for this x. So I will put this down, 2017 raised to the 1 over 2017. Just to write this, raised to the 2017 power, OK? Now, it's time to use the blue pen. Once again, if you look at this, check this out. We have this power, right, to that power. So you see, 1 over 2017 times 2017. They cancel out. So we just have 2017 right here, isn't it? So this is equal to 2017 raised to this 1 over 2017. And this is still in a parentheses. And raised to this, which is the result of 2017. Aha, this and that, once again, cancel out. So we end up with what? Just 2017, isn't it? Well, you guys can see the idea now, right? Because, in fact, this is going to work for that as well. Because when you plug in this number into x to the 2017, that will produce you 2017, like that. And the moment that if this is 2017, it just pretty much repeats, right? So. The deal is, this right here is the answer for that as well. So let me just tell you guys that claim x is equal to 2017 raised to the 1 over 2017 works. Let's go ahead and do the check. Put this down into this x, I will have, and then raised to this power, and then put this down into this x, and then raised to this 2017 in black, like that, right? Crazy looking expression, right? But it's really, really cool because check this out. You're going to work this out first. And you see, 2017 cancel out with 1 over 2017 because you have the power to a power situation. And this is just going to be 2017. And this 2017 will cancel out with 1 over 2017 because of the same reason. So that, let me just do like this, cross this out like that. And then we will end up with this 2017, and that's going to cancel with this 1 over 2017. So let me just do like this. Cancel this out. With that out, at the end, you have 2017, right? So the answer is equal to, well, x is 2017 raised to the 2017. And yes, it doesn't really matter how many x that you have x to the x to the x to however many that you would like. And then at the end right here is 2017, and that's equal to 2017. The answer to that equation is equal to this right here, OK? Well, the catch is that you have to make sure you only have a finitely many x right here in order to make this work. And at the very end of this exponent, it has to be the number 2017, OK? So if you end up with x to x to x, infinitely many x like that, it's equal to 2017. In fact, that equation has no answer at all. Interesting, huh? But I will show you how to do that next year.